Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Veronica Martabano, and I am very happy that you guys have signed up for online classes and that you're interested in learning more about um, how online classes work, as well as meeting all of our campus presidents, our um, other areas in the college. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. To start out, my name is Erica Sturbridge. I will be your uh, host today. We have our campus presidents and representatives. Um, we're going to start off with Dixon Hendry, um, Mr. Russ Brown. Hey, good afternoon and welcome. I'm Russ Brown, the campus president, IRC's Dixon Hendry campus here in Okeechobee. Your experience with IRC is important to us, so you'll get service with a personal touch. Our staff here is committed to creating conditions that will lead to your success. We're here to help you eliminate obstacles that you may encounter during your time. Uh, and we're going to do all that we can to provide those resources here on our campus or virtually that will lead to your success. We have open access tutoring, study areas available for you, the use of computers and Wi-Fi, library resources. And for those of you that have children and you need to come to our campus for these resources, we have free babysitting services available as well. Again, I wanna wish you the best this semester. Uh, you're gonna achieve excellence. And we're here, if you're in Okeechobee County, you come to the Okeechobee campus, uh, we'd be glad to help you succeed. Best wishes. Thank you so much. Now we're on to Chastain campus. Michelle Cuba. Hi, my name is Michelle Cuba. Cuba, I am the campus uh, director here at the Chastain campus. Um, we do have the pleasure of having our campus present on. Dr. Anzalone, I'd like to introduce him. The focus for our campus in this upcoming year is gonna be customer service. Our campus has been always being highly regarded on how students, when they come here, they get what they wanted. And uh, we'll continue doing that. Uh, I wanted just to give a little bit of uh, information on the new programs that are coming to our campus. Uh, we're gonna start offering plumbing. We started today our classes in lasers and photonics. And uh, very soon, we're going to start our new program for IRSC on drones, unmanned aerial vehicles. Uh, we've always had a certified uh, nursing assistant program. So we want you to explore the possibility of coming to IRSC and um, of uh, using our services. Our ASC is very, very well regarded, too, in the, in the community. So we're here to help. And let us know what you need. Uh, we try not to say no. All right, it's wonderful. And our next campus, we're going to have our Mueller campus. Um, Rebecca Shear. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Shear. I am the campus director here at the Mueller campus in Vero Beach. Um, our campus president is Casey Lunsford, but he is tied up in another meeting and hopes to join in a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, we would love for you to come up here and visit our beautiful campus up here. Um, we have lots of new activities coming about. Definitely next week, we have our Get Connected event. Um, so if you're not as familiar with the campus, we'd love for you to come out for that and learn about all the activities that we're offering up here. Um, one of the great programs we offer up here is our hospitality and culinary programs. Um, so they have a lot of things rocking and rolling over there. And we're also starting a new Arts in the Parks initiative here um, at the Mueller campus to uh, promote the um, all forms of art. So that will be the fourth Thursday of each month. And all uh, community members, faculty, staff, students, everyone is invited to come out to that and help promote the arts in our area. So we hope to see you soon. And please reach out if you have any questions for the Mueller campus. Thank you so much. And last but certainly not least, we have the Pruitt campus, Mr. Andrew Treadwell. Well, thanks, Erica. Uh, students, it's nice to have a few of you here with us today. I know many of you are, are uh, generally online, but in case you live in Port St. Lucie, uh, our Pruitt campus is, is located on the corners of Northwest University and California Boulevards, uh, otherwise known as right next door to where the New York Mets do their spring training baseball. So uh, if there is ever anything that we can do for you as Port St. Lucie residents, uh, we're here. We've got, a, uh, just like our, my colleagues, um, a full team of advisors on staff, help with financial aid, a full ASC lab. 
We have a joint use library with St. Lucie County here on campus. So we do have a lot of folks from the public coming by uh, and we'd love to see you. Some of the most exciting things happening here on our campus is we're expanding the nursing program out. Uh, Dr. Gagliano, our Dean of Nursing and I have been working very hard with our facilities folks. That project is just launched. So by fall of 2023, we're gonna really expand the nursing ADN program from about 130, 160 ADNs a year to closer to 310. Uh, on the north side of campus, uh, we're about to launch our Veteran Center of Excellence. So if anyone is around and is interested in coming out to the campus on January 21st, which is a Friday at 10 a.m., we're going to have our grand opening for our Veteran Center of Excellence. If any of you students out there in the online world happen to be veterans, please know that you can always come by, um, meet with veteran advisors, uh, talk with, with colleagues of the similar ilk, uh, and just know that you'll be taken care of at IRSC. Uh, we've also got our giant STEM center here. We do a lot of the physical science programs for Indian River State College. So it's a great uh, mix of students from top to bottom and programmatically. Anyway, look forward to meeting you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, campus presidents and representatives. All right. So next we have student success. Um, starting out, we have Natalie Pringle. Hi guys, welcome. Um, so my name is Natalie Pringle. I'm the student success coach over the workforce um, education program as far as uh, as well as career training. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, so pretty much the student success goals is to help you and guide you through your admissions. I know it can be very overwhelming, but believe me, I know you have many questions, but we got you covered and just know all the coaches have you covered. If you have any questions at any time and either can't make it due to work or for any reason, um, we have have this cool system called QList, um, which allows you to put yourself in a virtual line without physically being here. So if, even if you have a quick question or you're just not too sure about something, please contact us. You can log in through QList with an app, uh, texting, or even through our website. It'll uh, give you updates through um, real time when you'll be up next, and we can contact you and call you and speak with you with any questions that you have. So please don't hesitate and contact us. Um, so as you see here, we have student success coaches. We all uh, have our individual programs that will help you on because to uh, help guide you through each step that you have. We have STEM and School of Education, Public Service, Nursing, Business, uh, Liberal Arts, Health Science, Workforce Education, and Advanced Technology. So our goal is to get you through each and every step of the way, and we are here for you. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. Next, we have John selton to present Advising and Career Services. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, my name is John selton -Rye. I'm an advisor at the main campus. And um, I'm going to kind of repeat a lot of what Natalie said. Um, we are here to help you and um, help you get to the resources that we have on campus. It's, it's endless to the amount of things they have here to help you. Um, and a lot of times, you know, it's going to be new for new students and they don't know where to go. Um, you know, you just got to ask. And, and um, you know, I've seen I've seen people walking around on campus looking kind of lost. And if you just ask them where they're going, you, you point them in the direction. You can ask anybody here and they will, you know, our maintenance guys will put you in the golf cart and drive you there. Um, you just got to you just got to ask. Um, we assist students in career and transfer research. If you are planning on getting your AA degree and transferring to a university, we can help you figure out the appropriate prerequisites and get those on your academic plan. So you uh, have a smooth transition to the university, or if you plan on staying for a bachelor's degree here, um, same thing. We want to make sure you have the appropriate classes to get you to where you're going. Um, we're here for uh, questions and answers. Um, I tell the students I work with that there are no silly questions. Even if you think it is, we're not going to look at you and say that's a silly question. Um, ask, because uh, you guys look great. We don't know what's going on with you unless you, unless you speak up. Um, once you get handed off from the from the success coach, you will be assigned an advisor. Um, you can schedule an appointment with them um, way in advance. Um, that will be your time. You won't have to wait and um, come in and you know take care of your academic plan or whatever needs to be done. Um, and we do have checkpoints advising, so we will contact everybody. We all have caseloads, and we're going to be divided out by meta major. So um, we will let our students know by email, you know, where you're at and, and uh, you know, you're 50% complete and um, that helps you stay on task and, okay, I'm halfway done or three quarters of the way done, um, generate motivation. And then we are also here to assist you with the registration process. 
um, you know, if needed. This service system we have is self-service, but uh, you know, if assistance is needed, there, there's no no issue in you coming in and, and getting that done. We'll help you up with that. And then I'm going to continue on to uh, the Career and Transfer Center. Um, we're kind of all under one roof over here. Um, there, they have a lot of resources for students. If you don't know what you're doing, you can do a career assessment there to help you figure out what you do want to major in. Um, they have some pretty cool software that you can use from home. It's free. Um, you can research careers, research uh, majors, programs, and uh, see what the job market is like locally uh, and outside of the Four County area. Um, they provide students with uh, mock interview situations. They can, you can get that set up where you can practice interviewing. Um, they assist with job search and internships. They host a, all kinds of networking events where you can get out and meet people and get connected. Workshops, um, career and graduate fairs. Um, a lot of times they have a lot of the state universities come and, and are on campus for, for the students. Um, and they also assist with transfer services and they have employer relations with the, you know, employers in, in the local area. So that's about it for that. And just again, um, don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help. And uh, you guys are going to do great if you just take advantage of all the resources here. Thank you so much. Now we have ASC and Smart Thinking with Jason Mastros. I think you may have gotten disconnected. So I'll try to assist. The Academic Support Center, ASC. I know we use a lot of acronyms, always ask. All right, so with our Academic Support Center, there is free tutoring. You have tutoring um, um, guides at your weight. They have math, they have science, um, people who are passionate about their subjects and that will walk you through your subject um, online or in person. All right, how do I connect with the ASC tutors? Great question. So you'll be able to go online um, to our ASC website um, be able to look at LibGuides tutoring. Um, you can see which subject um, the individuals tutor, as well as their hours when they're there. So if you have a particular tutor you love and you want to see that person each time, you can definitely go there. We even have um, some of them who are through um, Blackboard Collaborate, which is great because they're able to talk to you even virtually. All right, what subjects are supported? Uh, we have mathematics, chemistry, English, writing assistance. So if you're working on that paper and you need help getting over that thesis hump, they'll help you. All right. All right. Other tutoring resources. Link to um, even accounting, um, advanced technology, economics. So there's other subjects that you wouldn't normally think of. All right. And we also have something called smart thinking. Smart thinking is 24 hour tutoring, it's online. Um, usually you can find it in your Blackboard shell of your class um, or under tools on Blackboard. Um, students can are given a certain amount of hours per semester and they're able to go on and submit papers where you submit your paper and within a certain amount of time, 24 hours, they send you a text and say, hey, your paper's ready. And you're able to actually um, review that for um, some edits, whether it's grammar, subject content, things like that. They will help you along. And that same thing goes for um, your math and your science as well. Now we have libraries with Angie Neely Cerrone. Hello, um, I'm Angie Neely Cerrone and I'm one of the librarians um, actually at the Mueller campus. So I was gonna tell you about um, some of our services that we have across the campuses. Um, so on the next slide, you can see our um, our locations, we do have locations at each of the campuses and then we have a large online presence too. So um, feel free to stop by no matter which county you're in or we can also help you online. And um, so the basics of what we have at each location, we have of course computers, printers, scanners, copiers, we have study rooms, which are really popular. Um, thousands of books, journal articles, videos, a lot of those are also available online, so you won't miss out on any of that. And we have um, really friendly librarians and staff at all the locations who are um, really excited to help you. We recently, um, last summer, transitioned to a new login for the databases. This is something that you can reach online at home or at work or anywhere that you have an internet connection. And um, this will give you access to our 
online resources, including journal articles, which you'll need for many of your courses. Um, and there's other good stuff in there too, eBooks and, and videos and different um, visual things as well. So if you have the Okta plugged in, plugin in Chrome or, or whatever browser you use, you can um, actually see a tile to click called Library Databases. And you can click on that and log in with your My Pioneer Portal credentials to access all of those resources. Um, we also do research help. So we're available um, whenever you need us, just let us know and you can make an appointment or we'll get back to you even um, at night and on the weekends. We, um, check our email and, and our different messaging services that we have that you can access us through. Um, speaking of those, we have um, quite a few. You can see us in person in a library. You can call us, email us, text us. Um, we can meet in Blackboard, Collaborate, or Zoom. Um, you can even Facebook or Instagram message us through our social media accounts. Um, and we have um, an Ask a Librarian chat service also. Um, so the things we can help you with are finding articles, um, if you need like kind of technology support, we can do a lot of that. And um, we can also request items if we don't have them, we can get them for free for you from pretty much um, anywhere. So don't ever pay for an article, we can, we can help you get it. Another big area that we help out with is citation assistance. So depending on your, your major and the courses you're taking, you'll use different citation styles, um, but we're experts in all of them. So we can help you no matter which style you're using. And um, that's something that students take advantage of a lot. We have a lot of resources on our website, our LibGuides, and um, we also will review your paper for you. And, you know, we're not, the plagiarism police will just let you know that we think um, you could use another citation here or there. And that way you have eyes on it to help you before you've turned it in um, for a grade. We also have textbook reserves. Um, so you'll go to the bookstore to, to buy your textbooks, but if you're waiting for your financial aid to come in or you waiting for your textbook to be available, um, we do have many textbooks on reserve and we've scanned many of them. So even if you're online and can't come to a campus, we might be able to get you a temporary access to a textbook. So just reach out to us and um, we'll help you out if we can with that. And LibGuides, this is our, our homepage. It's at irsc.libguides.com. And that's where you can um, contact a librarian or get access to any of these resources that I'm telling you about. And um, you can also reach that from the irsc.edu homepage under quick links. Um, here's a photo of all of us. And um, like I said, we're really happy to help you. Um, we are most excited about student questions. So. Um, please don't hesitate to ask us anything that we can help you with. We're um, very happy to do so. And I think that might be the last slide. All right, thank you. All right, so our next group is the assessment services and we have a crew here. So Steve Daniela, Claudia Phillips, Matt Smith and Lakeisha Williams. Great, thank you. So my name is Stephen Daniello, and I oversee our assessment services department here at the college. And I wanted to share with you some information about um, our testing services. So if you take an online class, um, the good news is you don't have to come in in person and you don't have to test by appointment. You'll actually test at home using um, HonorLock, which is a virtual proctoring system. It's 24 seven, it's completely free to students. And it gives you the option to take your test whenever you want to during the dates that your instructor has allowed you to take them. And you can take them at home in the comfortability of your own, your own, your own room. Um, Honorlock is a national leader in virtual proctoring. And the good, another good thing about them is that they are completely integrated with Blackboard. So you don't have to go to another website to take your tests. Um, it's quick and easy and you'll see a link when you click on your test, it'll automatically trigger honor lock for you. Um, and also all your information from Blackboard is imported into honor lock. So again, it's a quick and easy step for you. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Claudia and she's gonna share with you some information about the technical requirements. Honor lock testing requirements, a desktop computer or laptop, no tablets, iPads or cell phones permitted, a working webcam, with a 400 by 300 resolution or and a working microphone. Um, both can be either integrated or external USB. 
and a stable internet connection um, is also required. Um, Google Chrome browser, JavaScript and cookies must be enabled on your computer. Um, in this case, you wanna turn off the pop-up blocker. We wanna allow pop-ups. Um, and then just as a technical note, the honor lock no longer supports the older versions of Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Mac OS 10.1, or Mac OS 10.12. Um, and then I'll turn it over to Matt at Chastain. Cool, thank you, Claudia. And uh, so that was the technical requirements. And like Stephen said, there's a lot of cool, awesome benefits of being able to test at home in your own environment, uh, whenever you want, day or night, that type of thing. There's a couple of things to keep in mind because we don't want to get stressed out. You know, when it comes to test time, that's that's rough on all of us. You, you cram, you get ready for that test, and then you get a technical difficulty or something that just kind of throws you all off. So we want to cover these things just so that you're prepared and don't have those those stressors or those frustrations when the time comes. So uh, aside from the computer stuff, you wanna make sure that you have a private testing room or area in your house to test. You are taking a, an actual test, just like if you were gonna come and sit in a classroom and do it, you kinda wanna give it that same respect that it deserves and not have the TV blaring and not you know, have a bunch of friends over in the room while you're doing it. Sit in a private room, do it yourself, and uh, you know, have a clear work environment, remove all books, papers, notebooks, calculators, anything that you're not allowed if it's a math test or something and your instructor has approved it then that's fine but just you know give yourself that that clean surface to work on and get yourself prepared for success make sure that, you know you sufficient lighting so you can see what you're doing and uh, no background noises like we talked about so you know just take it seriously and make sure you're in a good a good spot to test that and the other thing that you'll want to know and make sure that you have ready for when it's time to test is a valid photo ID. You are going to show your ID up to the webcam. It's going to it's going to scan that and make sure you are who you say you are and all that fun stuff. So, you know, a current driver's license or some other kind of government ID, a passport, high school ID, anything like that. There's a whole list you can see on the screen there of, of what's valid. Something that has your picture and your and your name on it. And it's still current. Right. Don't use you know, passport from when you were four years old. If you're if you're in your twenties now, it's got to be current. And uh, also, you know, it has to be still valid. So if it's broken or expired, cut that type of thing, uh, it's not really valid anymore, and they won't be able to validate it when you take your test. So just make sure you you know have that that ID with you before you test to make sure that's not something that'll that'll snag you along the way. I think that's it for mine. So um, just want to talk about academic integrity. Um, we have a statement here at the college called the Pioneer Promise. And part of that is that we expect students to lead by example and practice personal and academic honesty. So unfortunately, we've seen a handful of students since we've gone to using Honor Lock that occasionally kind of practice academic dishonesty. And just kind of want to share with everybody, just know that Honor Lock, um, it's a virtual proctoring system. It does record your testing session. And um, unfortunately, there's no way to kind of disagree with what we see in a recording. So just make sure that um, you do the right thing when you're testing. And then on the next screen, things that Honor Lock is looking for that will trigger um, their artificial intelligence to kind of flag it. If students using cell phones, um, other people in the testing room, um, Things like that are pretty obvious that should not be happening during a test. But do know that we're educators and Honor Lock is part of an education system. You know, if your dog barks or if there's noise in the room next to you, no one's ever gonna consider that as academic dishonesty. Um, and it's not anything that you need to stress about. Um, we often see moms will pop in the door and say, dinner's ready and you know they close the door. and. There's no problem with that at all. We know that that's not a secret code to give students answers to the test. Um, so just kind of don't stress about it, but just keep your room clear of everything that's not approved, including other people, and, and you'll be fine. And just some helpful tips. So um, you'll log in. The best way to use um, Honor Lock and Blackboard really is by going through my Pioneer portal. Um, there's an old website that hopefully almost nobody has access to anymore, but um, you can see on these two um, screenshots, ircblackboard.com is where you want to go. And if you log into the Pioneer portal, it'll take you there. If you have an old link saved on your computer to IRC Blackboard, or blackboard irc.edu, you'll have trouble using Honor Lock. So just get rid of any of those old links. Um, but that's been more than a year ago. So if you have one of those, go ahead and get rid of them. 
And then um, there's 24 seven support for honor lock. So in the bottom um, corner of the screen, there'll be a little chat bubble that you'll see all the time. And um, if you need to use that, go ahead and use it. And honor lock will pop in and and give you help. Um, they won't be able to help you with test questions, but any technical support, they're there during your entire testing process. And even during the process when you're trying to log in and start launch your exam. And then also, if you need some help, here are our phone numbers. Um, we have an assessment center at each campus where um, one of us is housed and we'll be able to help you. If you have questions, you can give us a call. And also we've set up an email address, testinghelp at irsc.edu. If there's something that Honorlock can't help you with, um, feel free to shoot us an email. Um, we're here during business days and um, when the college is open and we'll help you with that. And with that, I'd like to go ahead and wrap it up and have a great semester. Thank you. All right, thank you so much team. All right, we have health and wellness with Ms. Carla Parker. Hi, good, all, good afternoon all. My name is Carla Parker and I am um, an assistant to the director here of the Health and Wellness Center, um, Dr. Patricia Corey Souza. Um, and we are located on the main campus, which is in Fort Pierce, the Massey campus. And the Health and Wellness Center, it's located in the U building here on the main campus. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, eight to five. And um, I'm gonna tell you about some of the services that we offer. And just please note that all of our services are free to all students. And it doesn't matter which campus you attend and then that you're online, um, you can still utilize these services. Um, just, <clears throat> just quick um, purpose of the Health and Wellness Center is to reduce health related barriers to learning. And we're going to be talking about some of our health services and amenities, um, crisis intervention, um, curriculums, um, educational events, such as these are some of the things that we put on, um, Helping National Mental Health Awareness Month, um, National Immunization Awareness Month, which um, we include um, COVID-19 immunizations, um, and we do our annual flu vaccine um, clinics, and then we we'll also promote National Collegiate Alcohol Awareness Week. Um, we also promote um, Great American Smoke Out, and also promote um, relation um, sexual responsibilities. Now, we also have here as house in the Health and Wellness Center that we are so proud to have, which is a Pioneer Pantry, which is a food pantry. We partner with Church Post Food Bank and also receive donations from um, my college community. All students are welcome to <clears throat> utilize the um, pantry. All you need to do is once you come into the, our facility, you're going to sign in, make sure that you, um, you'll have to be a current student and you'll put your ID number into the iPad. We will give you um, bags and then you can utilize. We say that you can come as often as you can um, for a week. Just be mindful of the persons or persons that are coming behind you. But yes, we are so happy to be able to offer that to all of our students. Okay, some of the nursing cares that we have here. Um, our clinics, clinic settings, that's what our building um, is kind of set up like a little mini doctor's office. Um, we have assessment to um, acute and chronic health conditions. So we will see you and evaluate and assess you. You come in for whatever reason to evaluate you and assess you. And if it's something outside of our scope, then what we will do is we will refer you out to um, one of our partnering um, facilities on, in the community. Also, we give out, and remember once again, I cannot stress all of our services are free. So we give out and we treat anything over the counter medications. Um, we, like I said earlier, we will refer you out if it's outside of something that uh, we cannot um, help you with, then we will make sure that you get the proper care. Um, we also do through our office, um, partner with uh, the campus um, um, public 
safety officers, we do emergency response, which is the BARC team. BARC stands for Behavioral Assessment Response Team. Mental Health Assessment. Now this year we have, um, we, are, we are so happy and, and elated that we have a partnership with BayCare Behavior Health. BayCare, through BayCare, any of our students can access this um, care through them. What BayCare offers for mental health assessment, um, they offer free four sessions per year to each student. And once you've reached that fourth one, if they feel that you need additional help, then they will go ahead and refer you out or um, continue that services based on your um, income. But again, those are those four sessions are free to all of our students. We do testing, testing and anxiety assessment here in the office. Dr. Cora will sit down and meet with you and assess you to just to make sure that it is testing anxiety and not something else. We do um, visit the branch campuses. Um, if you um, live in Martin County, Okeechobee, in the river, uh, St. Lucie, we will go ahead and visit you at that campus if it's more convenient than coming here to um, Fort Pierce, the main campus. We will go ahead. Um, some of our services, for, such as counseling, we do some minute um, counseling here in the office, but those services are by appointment only. And as you saw in that first slide where that student said that we do have, we pride ourselves and we have two massage chairs that students and employees take advantage of coming in. Um, you don't have to sign in for those services. You just go ahead and sit down and relax and have a good, good time. COVID-19 services. Um, we um, have a private provider through Florida Shock um, that authorized us to be able to give COVID-19 vaccines and put it into the system. Um, we do have here in the clinic, we have a COVID-19 medical response person, Jose Figueroa. He is our medical COVID medical response person who will, if you, um, as a student, if you are coming in contact or you yourself test positive, what you will do is give our office a call. Our office number is 772-462-7825. Give us a call. And what we will do is assist you in making sure that um, your instructors are made aware of um, whatever issues that you may have to just coordinate those issues with your instructors. Um, we do um, have some um, COVID-19 testing res resources that we will give out to you. And we also do COVID-19 vaccine clinics. So if you would like to receive a vaccine, just be on the lookout. We um, do send out periodically, send out emails to so check your emails. Um, and then all you have to do is just contact us and get on schedule for that COVID-19 vaccine and come on in and have it done. I believe that is it for, oh, no, we have some more. Okay, we have a new through SAMHSA grant, um, the PEACE grant, and it's um, P stands for prom Promoting Education and Awareness About College Emotional Health. And through the PEACE grant program, we are able to certify mental health first aid training, and we also have been able to certify um, instructors training, which now those instructors who are now certified to um, teach those um, first mental health first aid um, training to others here in the college community, that's the we were able to get that um, done through our peace grant. Also, also through our peace grant is suicide prevention and postvention. Um, through that, we do risk factors, especially we have special events that we host through the Peace Grant to um, make a, bring awareness to any mental health illness or behavior. Um, through the Peace Grant, we have Cognito com, um, combined with the science of learning, the art of conversation, and the power of virtual human simulation to improve social, emotional, and physical health. And that's all through, and that's an online program that 
that does self-evaluation and take you through if in fact to make sure that um, to kind of um, help you with the conversation if you find yourself in any crisis to how to get help or start that, that conversation in order to get help. I thank you and I hope you much success. All right, thank you, Health and Wellness. And now we're on to student engagement with Rochelle Pop Finch. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rochelle Pop Finch. I'm the Director of Student Development here at IRSC. I'm also your college ombudsman and your student advocate. So, what exactly does that mean? If you ever have an issue, concern, don't know where to turn to um, here at the college, I would be a great point person for you. In addition, we have a great staff here in our SEAL department. We have um, Simone Dupree, who is our student engagement specialist. We have our coordinator of student engagement, which is Liz Helen. And Melissa Martin, who is our virtual student engagement session, who's usually behind the scenes of activities such as these that we're in today. If you are ever on the Massey campus and you wanna check us out, we also have a new location in KSU 209. No, there is no second floor to the KSU. We just like to trick you. And it's actually right across from the bookstore. And so please on, stop on by and, and say hello. In our area, we have four pillars of success. We say connect, get involved, lead, and succeed. Under connect, we have River Life, Campus Coalition Government, and our student clubs and organizations. River Life is your one-stop shop for all of student life. You can join clubs and organizations. You can track service hours. You can develop your co-curricular transcript. Why is a co-curricular transcript important? Well, one of the very first questions they ever ask you on a college scholarship application or if you're going to grad school or transferring to another institution, they always ask you, what have you done outside the classroom? Well, River Life makes it very easy for you to track all of that and keep this in one central location and you never lose access to it. In addition, it does create a very nice portfolio for you to take on with you when you decide to transfer. Um, in addition, it does have leadership development opportunities and the opportunity for you to connect with other college departments and students. Um, really, you know, one of the things that I always tell our students is, um, your network is only as big as your net worth is only as big as your network. So think about that. Your net worth is only as big as your network. So this is an opportunity for you to grow that network, being able to, you know, have a great relationship with a faculty member or a staff member. Um, when you're connected to the college and you're connected to other people, you really do feel like you fit in at IRSC. So I encourage you to really develop those relationships, join clubs and organizations Go to as many activities and events as you can to truly get pioneer living. Our campus coalition government meets every other Wednesday um, from 1230 to 130. We meet in W242 on the Massey campus, or you can join us on Zoom. Our campus coalition government is a representative of each of our clubs and organizations. We have over 70 clubs and organizations here at the college. They range from academic, professional development, program specific, service oriented, special interests such as crafting and um, ones that are just designed to get you involved outside in the community. Campus recreation, we have flag football, we have clubs and organizations that are directly just tied to diversity, um, such as our men of color program, our women of color program. We also have ones that are directly tied to academics, for instance, Phi Theta Kappa, um, Alpha Phi Sigma, which is a criminal justice honor society. So there's so many different ways to get involved at IRSC. We have about 1,600 different events and activities that we host each and every year. So there's literally something for everyone to get involved in. We have two incentive programs that I truly love and want to encourage you to get involved as much as you can. If you are a first year student here at IRSC, I want to encourage you to get involved in our 60 things every first year pioneer should do. This will connect you to the people, resources, and opportunities here at the college. Again, to help you feel connected. When you are connected, you will stay here at IRSC and finish your degree because you'll always feel like there's someone there that's pushing you on and you don't want to disappoint them. Plus, you'll feel very strongly tied to the community and you'll ultimately feel like this is the place for you. In addition, we have a Splash Perks program, which is designed to, again, help you connect, get involved, lead and succeed, but it gives you an opportunity to earn free stuff 
as you participate in different activities on campus. 60 Things, as I mentioned, is a first year program. You can find that in your paths section in River Life. Um, if you are not a first year student, you will not see this. However, it is designed to give you a reflection of your all the activities that you participate in throughout your time here. So ultimately giving you that, that digital scrapbook so that you can post them on social media or just keep track of what you're doing. Because honestly, no one ever remembers what they did their first semester at the college, nor do they remember what they had for lunch yesterday. So therefore, this is a great opportunity for you to keep a track of all that. Splash perks, like I said, the more free, th the more things you go to, the more free stuff you earn. Um, as you complete different things, our Splash Perks program is very similar to some of the programs you see on campus. Um, for instance, IRSC is known for our swimming and diving, so we created Splash Perks. Um, and you'll notice that our categories or our reward system is based off swim moves. So our front flip is one of the easier categories to complete. Um, when you attend three events or activities, after you attend those three under the connect category, you'll earn a college pennant, a lanyard, small bottle of hand sanitizer. And again, it's designed to connect you to the resources here. Our swan dive is our get involved category. This category is designed to help you get involved through our campus and social engagement opportunities. When you finish this category, you earn a River Life water bottle and a rally towel, hopefully designed to get you involved and hit the gym and stay healthy. Next, we have our backflip category, which is our lead category. And these opportunities are designed to help you get personal and professional leadership development opportunities. When you finish this category, you earn a River Life um, neck gaiter, which you can wear in 16 different ways. Um, so if you like to fish, you like to run, um, you like to do yard work in your spare time or gardening, it's a great little giveaway for you. The next category is our cannonball category, where you make the most splash, where you are bound to succeed here at IRSC and beyond through our career and our professional development opportunities. When you finish this category, you earn a custom splash perks long sleeve t-shirt. These opportunities are open to all students at IRSC, whether you are a virtual student, a Chastain campus student, a Pruitt campus student, Mueller campus student, Dixon Hendry campus student, we got you covered. Um, our next category that we are most proud of is our leadership category, and that's our lead program. Um, we have three different leadership programs here at the college. We have our emerging leaders, legacy leaders, and National Society for Leadership and Success, which is our online leadership program. Emerging Leaders Program is designed to help you get the most out of your college experience and give you the foundation to have a, to become a successful leader through attending events, seminars, meeting new leaders across the campus and across the college, being able to make new friends and gain new skills that will ultimately help you be successful after you leave IRSC. When you complete this program, again, this program is open to all students and every currently enrolled student is actually a part of the Emerging Leaders Program. You can find this program in Paths on River Life. If you go to your homepage and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, bottom right-hand side, it will show you all the paths that you are currently in. When you complete this program, you earn a certificate of completion that you can put on your resume. In addition, you get a pin to wear around campus. And ultimately, the best prize of all is a medallion that you can wear at graduation and to show your family, your friends, of exactly what kind of leader and person you are and what you become at IRSC. Our dance leadership program is our legacy leaders program. This is only open to students who have completed our emerging leaders program. As emerging leaders helps you build the foundation to becoming a leader, legacy leaders is designed to put those leadership skills into action. We want our students to walk away being civic minded, socially responsible, and lead through actions that are selfless. Students that complete this program earn a certificate of completion and a sash to wear at graduation. Ultimately, both of these things on your co-curricular transcript and your resume will help you land the job once you leave IRSC. Our next program is our online leadership program called our National Society of Leadership and Success. Everything at IRSC that is service-oriented or activity-oriented for our students is free. However, this one program is not, not free. It does have a small fee of $95, but this makes you a lifetime member. Um, students have unbelievable benefits by being a part of this program. First of all, when you are inducted into the program, you will receive a letter of recommendation 
You will receive a certificate of completion. You will receive an induction kit with a t-shirt, a pin, um, and many other items. In addition, if you complete the program while you're at IRSC, we also give you a medallion to wear at graduation. This is an invite-only program. You have to have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA and be enrolled at at least six credit hours. Now, the $95, everyone says, oh my goodness, it's $95. And is this a fake program or is it real? Um, it is a real program. The $95, yes, it pays for all the benefits that I just mentioned. But most importantly, for instance, this semester alone, Terry Cruz is doing a workshop. Uh, Robin Roberts from Good Morning America. Last semester, uh, Bill Clinton did a, a, a session. The semester before that, Michelle Obama did a session. Dr. Oz. I mean, the list goes on and on. And all of these um, guest speakers are through the National Society of Leadership and Success. And remember, everything is done online. Um, so amazing benefits. And you are a member for life, even when you move on from IRSC. Our succeed category or pillar of success is really designed to help you discover your passion. We also build on meaningful connection relationships across the campus. We have a very good relationship with career and transfer services and many other departments. This will help you shape your resume, outline your outstanding achievements as a student here at IRSC. And ultimately, you will fill your resume with meaningful experiences that will help you land the job when you leave Indian River. Most importantly, always, always follow your academic plan. Manage your time effectively. Invest in a planner. Begin with the end in mind. Always, always see yourself walking across that stage saying, I can do this. I got this. No matter what comes across your way, there are so many people and resources and opportunities here at the college that will help you land the job you want, help you get across that stage. Um, we are not mind readers. So please, if you need help, ask for it. And I know sometimes that small four letter word is really hard to say. Heck, it's even hard for me, but I promise you when you do ask for help, we are here to help guide you. Um, when you begin with the end in mind, hopefully you see yourself in that career that you want to be in. The first day on the job should never be truly the first day on the job. It should already be in your mind. You've already should have gone through it several times. If you have a clouded judgment right now and you can't really see yourself, there's other resources out there. Career coach, you take that online. It'll be able to help you um, come up with different careers that you might be interested in based on the things that you love to do. So again, plan your future, take career coach, always ask for help. And no matter what, we are here to help you at IRSC. Always stay in the know, keep in the know. We put, we put our opportunities everywhere. We put them on the website. We send them to you through your river mail. We put them on river life. Um, we also have a really active social media. Join your branch campuses, social media pages, join the IRSC social media pages, join the student engagement and leadership social media pages that you see here. We know you're on your phones. So let's make the most effective use of that time and do what is best for you. If you do all the things I'm, I've mentioned to you, you will absolutely maximize your college experience here at IRSC and you will be successful, not only here, but when you leave as well. Thank you so much, Rochelle, that was awesome. Our next is student resources. That would be me, Erica Sturbridge from the IRSC student team here. So just to let you know that you can access Blackboard Help Center, which is 24 seven, it's always there. Um, if you go on the website right now, click on the IRSC Global, you can go right there um, and it will take you to our page and under current students, technical resources, all right? This is how you find it um, through the website. And again, it's 24 seven support when you're using and going into Blackboard, which is our learning portal for your courses. It will have, um, help tools like smart thinking, we already mentioned that. But when you go in and you need help, if something's not lining up, or if you are studying at 2 a.m. in the morning and something doesn't look right, you can actually log on to Blackboard support. You can chat with someone, you can call. It, it definitely makes a difference when um, you're online and you have a different study schedule than most people. It works. Um, as you can see here, uh, there's even help articles. Uh, that walks you through um, some self-help things. 
Um, you also have to reset your pen. You can create a case if it's something that, you know, maybe you chat with someone on the phone and they couldn't do it. They'll actually create a case and submit it to our team here um, to follow up and to get it fixed. You have free, a free download, actually five, five devices of Office 365. Again, make use of the free 99. Um, you, ha you have Office 365 right in your Pioneer portal. When you click on that and go into Office 365, on your right-hand side, you'll see an install button. You can install it on your devices. You have Word, you have PowerPoint, you have OneDrive. Again, a lot better than carrying around a flash drive with you every day. Uh, plus you can access this wherever you're able to open My Pioneer Portal. Um, just make sure you follow these steps on the screen and you can download it on those devices. Again, free. Plus it has some great other sharing tools. So if you're working in a group project, you can create forms. Uh, again, this is all free. We have Adobe Creative Cloud or Campus. We are at Adobe Creative Campus, but here you're able to go on the cloud and get resources like Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere Pro. Um, I've used it for stock photos. You know, everybody's not as techy, but you can actually use this to edit videos. There's so much more to Adobe. And if you've never gone in there or used it for anything, make sure you check it out. This is a free resource that most people would have to pay a lot of money per year to get, and you get it for absolutely free. So when you're creating these awesome presentations for class, or if you're trying to find that, that perfect image for whatever you're doing, go to your Adobe Creative um, Cloud and it's right on your Pioneer portal, all right? YOLO, um, your online learning orientation. All students who are taking an online course have been um, put into this organization on Blackboard. This allows students even before the semester starts to try out different things as well as you're able to try to submit modules, quizzes. It's just a practice. You can't break anything. Um, so when you go in there, you're able to actually see the features of our Blackboard system. Plus, you're also able to uh, ask the class, which right now a lot of students are using that feature to kind of discuss things back and forth. Um, this is a great way to stay connected to other students, as well as get a quick response from um, some of your um, classmates as well. So yellow is a great practice course to get your, your toes in the water of an online course. Smart and measure assessment. Um, this is a readiness exam that we currently have within YOLO, your online learning orientation. Um, you can actually go into um, the modules and find the assessment. You can take it, find out different areas that you may wanna improve on as far as um, you know, having the right computer access when you're taking an online course, are you self-directed, some resources to help you be uh, more self-directed, as well as the way you prefer to learn information. Uh, if you've never thought about that, this assessment actually brings that to light and allows you to make the most of that and get better in the areas that um, you may see as an um, area for change and betterment. All right, so it kind of gives you a great diagram and shows you that your strengths as well as areas for improvement and resources to make those changes. All right, um, we are here um, to help. Um, my name is Erica Strobridge, and that is my direct line here. You also have Veronica Martabano. Um, that is her direct phone number. Uh, we don't hide it. We push it out there as well as our email to let you know that we are here to help you. So if you do have online help, um, you know, whether it's from logging in all the way to inside your course shell. Um, if it's something for your instructor, we'll get you there. If it's something for your advisor, we'll get you there as well. Um, if you can't find something and don't know who to ask, again, you have our direct numbers here. We're here, as well as that email. Um, no matter what time uh, you have a question, we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and we do a pretty good job of getting back to students um, as quickly as possible. All right. If you do have any questions, make sure you reach out to us. The important thing is to ask for help. Um, if there's any questions, now would be a great moment to go into those. Um, you can put them in the chat um, or you can um, unmute your mic and um, do it that way. But otherwise, we'll be we'll be here after the session just to answer any questions. But we thank you all for joining us today. We thank all of our presenters. 
Um, this session will go on YouTube. It will go in the YOLO organization. It will also go on River Life under this past event. So you will be able to find this and share it with friends and be like, hey, this was an awesome session. This is the information that you were looking for. So we thank you for joining us. We hope you have an awesome semester with us. We thank everybody who um, um, presented today. This is uh, our wonderful campus. Thank you for starting your new chapter with us. Thank you.